Out of the void came one voice, and the one became many. Many became chaos, for they knew not their place within the whole symphony. Until, under the guiding principles of order, discipline, balance, measure, time. Harmony. The many remembered again their oneness. Could it be that science, hearing the sound of many waters within the seemingly chaotic interference patterns of our reality, has forgotten the art of listening for that one vibration? When circular waves encounter others, they create vesica Pisces patterns within themselves, and this repetitive dance of duplication actually creates everything we experience in our daily lives. Science tells us it's all nothing but waveforms and mathematical probabilities. But in 2018, Robert Grant compared many of the known math and physical constants against their fractals or inverse decimal and angular values on a circle, expanding upon the study of quaternion symmetry. Nikola Tesla asserted that the secrets of the universe are embedded in the numbers three, six, and nine, and so Grant postulated the hexagonal integer six to be the center, the mirror reflection crossover point, from which, radiating outward, numbers converge and overlap at various nodes. He hypothesized that numbers both create and emerge out of these wave propagations, and thus all constants manifest at the geometrical intersections between their x and one over x representations. The first of these conjunctions occurs at the center, where the golden ratio phi and its one over x little phi manifest. These are framed by the Euler-Mascheroni constant gamma, and its close inverse, the square root of three. The next conjunctions manifest fractals of pi and the Euler number e. These are framed by the cubed root of gamma and a light speed reference c, against e minus two and a presently unknown new constant. The next conjunction manifests the squares of phi, framed by its square root and the fine structure constant alpha, giving rise to yet another pair of new constants. At the Tesla integers three and nine, we find pi and its one over x fractal, which reveal 3.1623, a most significant balance. Between pi and its inverse, producing two more brand new constants. Moving further out, each subsequent framing simultaneously converges and diverges like concave and convex lenses, concentrating and dispersing energy. Thus, we can see visually how the separation of light and dark is achieved mathematically. And perhaps we begin to understand more fully how the Einsteinian concept itself of space-time emanates from precisely such a dynamic wave function. As already shown, this new understanding predicts that at each halving of a wave, another mirroring constant must inherently result from the convergence. We are therefore able to predict with mathematical certainty 
where new, presently unknown constants will be found along an infinitely ever-expanding wave. Thus, from a simple x against 1 over x analysis, a unifying mathematical theory emerges, revealing an elegant structure hidden within an age-old mystery. Since all the major constants, pi, phi, e, alpha, appear at these convergences, and presently unknown constants are now geometrically predictable, we see they are all pure quaternion reflections of the most fundamental constant of all, the integer one. These findings even suggest that ancient references to a voice of many waters may literally be an accurate metaphor. Developing a unique variant of the original Pythagorean tuning, which postulates that true A above middle C should be 432 cycles per second, or hertz, Grant has found that the musical notes themselves emerge from the intersections of these overlapping waves. Their hertz values correspond exactly to their angular relationships on a circle, requiring only minimal equal temperament adjustments to become a viable tuning alternative. And thus we have come, one might say, full circle to the pure balanced alchemy of science and art, resolving the chaos of the many back into the unity of the one.